When you met each other, was it a, a West Side Story moment where your eyes locked across the room and the world stood still and all the dancing slowed down? Gosh, well, and this is a good segue to talk about up here, too. I had been told by a palm reader in New Orleans like two years before. She was like, you're a writer and you're going to meet someone of undisclosed ethnicity. And I can't tell if it's a club or a class, but you're going to meet him. At the time, I was not a writer. I didn't even know I was a writer. And with a boyfriend who I thought I was going to marry. But two years later, here was this here was this thing coming true. Moving to the theme of up here, really, like I think you you're always reestablishing your relationship. You're always creating a new connection because as you go through life, you go through changes. You, and if you're communicating well, you're constantly kind of meeting this next person that's coming. That's kind of what up here is about. And it was what, what we were thinking about at the time. If you could see into someone's head, um, then maybe you'd really, you'd really be able to know them. But since you can't, how can you possibly ever communicate? Well, if you have the kind of relationship that Kristen and I have, you get to spend every day kind of uh, working on a musical. Trying again, working on a musical yeah. about it. <laughs> Who's the- 